Hey guys, welcome back to part two of trying to get this Husqvarna YTH 2454 with the 24 horsepower Intec. Uh, we last left off, I uh, you know I took the carburetor off, we uh, cleaned it. Uh, I cleaned all the passages, cleaned uh, the carburetor bowl. You know, I'll put it back together and it still wouldn't start. So, my next alternative is to check the spark again and probably pull out the spark plugs, check them. If not, the spark plugs could be the gas that's in it, or I need to uh, check out the take out the valve covers here and see what's going on with it here as you can see the wheels are still cockeyed in here it's mainly this wheel here not this wheel but anyway uh i'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod get myself ready here and we're gonna check for spark and see what's going on in there What do you think? You think we should check that spark plugs and see? Calm before a storm, huh? No, oh, I don't know if that's going to run like that. Might have to clean those off there. smells a little wet too might have to clean these off so we'll check those and clean those off might be the cause of the problem right here let's see if it's generating any weak spark Find out. Alright, let me get you guys set up on the tripod here and we're gonna try to start this up again and see if we get anything else different out of it. So. Alright. Chokes on. Got it on that. We got power. See if we got anything else. Still nothing. sound like it's fighting the start so I don't think it's uh, um, valves might be bad gas so I'm gonna get some carburetor clean I'm gonna spray in there and see if we can maybe get it to start then next best thing try carburetor cleaner so Try a little bit of that in there. Pull the choke out. See if I'll just at least kick on. If I know that, then at least I know I gotta probably re-clean the carburetor out again, so. Alright, so the carburetor is still uh dirty. 
Okay, so it looks like um, we're going to be tearing this bad boy up a little bit more. I wanted to kick on. It looks like I'm going to have to uh, take that carburetor off again and double check it. So, I'll meet you guys after I tear it all apart again. You guys saw me how, how I did it the last time. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so let's see what the gas gods that gave us in uh, in fuel wise so I'm gonna drain out the old gas before we uh, attempt to uh, clean out the carburetor I'll let that dribble out. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let that dribble out and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the carburetor off again and double check it and see what's going on with it. All right, I guess we're back to where we were like in part one. We taking part the uh, carburetor again, but uh, I'm going to try to go over it again. There. So. It's one of those Nikki carburetors. Henry from Mower and Blower should know all about this. The Nikki carb. Let's see. You think we have any luck this time of getting these off? If I don't break it first. That was the one that was giving us the trouble the last time. There. Of course, one side you gotta use flathead, the other one you gotta use that. But since I broke it free the last time here. that on that lid there so I don't lose it. I think we got any more gum up. It's still clean in there. That's odd. Maybe the jets? Possibly. Yeah. Still looks clean in there. I don't know about the gas. Put that oil ring back on there.
still clean. I don't want to take that part off unless I had to. There. I'll get my pair of pliers. I left them over here. Let's try this again. Double check myself. I know I cleaned it out thoroughly. But I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. On there. So let me get these screws off again. I'll check the jet again. Just to be sure. I'm trying not to lose these things, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see through there. I can. Those are clear, so I don't have to really go over these again put my finger over that so I don't lose them because they came out the last time so that's all clear through there now I went over these things with a wire before a wire brush well not a wire brush it's a mechanics wire I had and I checked all the holes in here and actually I'm going to hold it up for you guys so you guys can see this. I don't know how close I can get it for you guys. But you guys can see some daylight. through There is no holes clogged up. So it's very odd. It's not working unless it's something to do with up here. And I didn't really want to take that off unless I had to. Hmm. Well, I'm going to check through everything. I'm going to go over all the holes again. And stuff. Check everything. And like I said, these holes are they're all clear, so odd that it's not uh, working like it should. Alright. I'll put this back. That's my attempt anyway. I think I'm missing something here. What do you think? I think I should put that jet back, the jet things back in there. It'll make a lot of sense, huh? All right. I guess I didn't see anything out of place. Everything's clean. For some reason, it's not getting fuel. Unless it's in the front there. Put that back in there. Back in there. Let me switch some gloves out real quick.
Okay. So, I guess it don't really matter which way this goes. I know this works. Since the plug. on there you can see are you guys still watching yeah you guys are still watching just wanted to make sure you guys are still there well, I'm probably boring you with this so let me put this back together and we're gonna come back to the front I have to take apart what's in the front here I'm gonna check in this plate right here and see if there's anything different out of the ordinary I mean hopefully not the carburetor is not bad but I'm trying to clean it save the money got a little bit of dirt there so go ahead and spray this out here there might be some cause of it too there I'm gonna go over this gasket a little a little bit Clean it up. Hello. Sorry about that. My phone's ringing in the background. So let me see what's going on there. Alright. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to clean this off. I cleaned that plate off a little bit. There's a little bit of crud right in there. Cleaned it the best I could. There. But, like I said, I'm trying to clean it the best I can here to see what's going on. Clean all the passageways there. So, I'm going to put this plate back on. Here. Like I said, I never really worked on a Nikki carb. And I've seen Henry from Mowers and Blowers work on one. I think it was a little bit different, or it might have been the same. I can't remember. Many times I've seen that guy's videos, I can't remember half the stuff he's done. <laughs> Too much. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. All right. Anything else? I don't think it's the gaskets in there. I don't think. You think I should check out the inside of it? So you think I should pull that off and see? All right. Well. Alright, you guys convince me. I'll check it and see. What do you think it is? A 3 8 Half inch? Something like that? Something facsimile thereof? Uh, I'm going to try a 3 8 No, nope, it's not a 3 8 I wonder if it's a 9 16 
What do you guys think? What do you guys think I should just try it and see what it does? You think I'm about to rebuild the carburetor? All right, we'll pull it off. Let me go and get the right socket. All right, guys, sorry about that. I left off uh, what I was doing here. Uh, we were taking uh, this cover off of here. It's an 11 millimeter socket. Here. I'm going to check the orifices of a, this part here. very windy here today so I apologize uh, if you hear wind in the background all right Let's see what it looks like in here I'll bring you guys along for the ride too Too bad. You think I should spray through their carburetor cleaner and see if anything comes out of it? In there. Double check it. It does need to be clean. It looks dirty inside there. Especially right in that area right there. So let's take back off this bowl again yeah double touching ever since i broke those bolts they're easier to move now off of here Ooh. oh no Looks like I'm going to be ordering another O-ring. That one busted. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to clean it up and then order an O-ring. Unless I got an O-ring to fit it. I might have one. I might have one of these. Here, so I'll just double check it. Clean it up. You think I should try carburetor cleaner first? See anything that shoots out of there? Let me get the carburetor cleaner real quick. Think anything will spray out of there? Let's see. Let's try this one. That's clear. Open up that plate and clean that out. Here, let's do that. Spray in here real quick. Hello. Hey, note to self. Uh, if you're spraying in the intake, it's going to come out. Spray out. <laughs> Get 
get right in this spot down here. I think that's the best we're gonna get it don't think I'm gonna take this part off because there's another choke plate there let me get a light and look down there real quick let me get a light all right if you don't have an e5 Torx that's what it's supposed to be you can use a four millimeter even though it's hexagon it's a four millimeter you can break those bolts off of here so that's what I did here and uh, part there might end up having to get a new gasket for it I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save that. Okay. I just want to get in here and see. Sorry, this is taking long. All right, let me switch battery because we're dying. All right, sorry about that. Kind of broke it loose as I try to set it down. So this is what it's looking like here. I might have to clean all this rust off and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and release that choke off of there. I'll clean all that off too. I'm going to try to avoid getting that gasket off. Looks like a little wire brush is going to be in order. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to try to Mm -hmm. 
Some of the other parts don't look too bad. It's just that spot right there. So. Alright. I don't want to bore you guys on that. So I'm just going to clean this area up with my wire brush real quick. And come back to you guys. Alright. Got one of the gaskets off of here. I'm trying to uh, clean off. Because there's a lot of rust or something on there so I'm using my pick right now to try to clean it off No, I'm not going to get it all the way spotless, but I'm going to try to get it as best I can. And that part didn't look too bad right there either. You know, I cleaned all the little orifices out and all that, so. So I'm going to put that back together. Well, not yet, put fully back together yet. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of clean, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly what I was going to do. So let me get to the point where I'm going to put everything back together. I'm going to clean this all up and all that stuff. So it's going to be a lot of carburetor cleaning and a lot of wasted time and I don't want to waste you guys time by boring you so I'll come back to you when I'm getting ready to reassemble all right let's play reassemble the carburetor again shall we so get this part this part here Goes on there like that. And I think I can still use these gaskets here. So now I gotta re put the choke lever back on. So you want to put it in there like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Because they say once you put it in there, you will not get that back. You will not be able to get that on there once you get that throttle on. As long as like this. gasket fell out all right and when you put that on there choke is gonna go in that angle there so, so it should be I want to say it's yeah it's this way so the way I did it, go in this way with it, rotate it, and should be it right there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and... Get this gasket back on. I think I could still use it.
sorry if I didn't point the camera down. Set. Start them. Take. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these in first here. Once I get the gasket on here, I'll I'll cinch it down. All right, uh, should be good. I just gotta put the other breather box on there. I gotta dry that off real quick. Let me go grab that <laughs> there. All right, let me go grab that. All right, got the breather box in. All the passageways are clear, so we should be good to go on this. And make sure these are on here tight. Crisp. Don't want them too tight. I just want them snug. That's good enough for me. Clean that all out too because it had a lot of crud on it there. So, actually, yeah, we're gonna put, yeah, we gotta need to put that on. There's probably some other videos on uh, Nikki carbs out there. But this is my first attempt. Now, if I'm doing something wrong or anything, just let me know. Give me a shout out. And say, hey, John, you're doing this wrong. Because, you know, I don't mind getting told that I'm doing something wrong incorrect i would like to try to do it the right way here now i'm probably gonna get told hey you need to go get some new gaskets for it but i want to see first if it runs now if i gotta get new gaskets okay yeah i'll order the gaskets for it that's no big deal i have no problem with that i just want to make sure this is going to run on its own all right I think that's good enough I'm not gonna go too tight on there now I still gotta get the the gasket the o-ring for this here now this one, that's the O-ring that came off of this thing here. I'll get that on. I gotta get an O-ring for this. So let me get my O-ring set here, and uh, we'll see if we can got one for it. All right, this is my assortment of O-rings here, and I think. One of these should be the one we need. Nope. It's not that one. I think maybe that one? No. Oh. 
Uh, let me see. Where's the old one at? Yeah, let's see. If you can figure out which one it would be. I think it's that one. Looks like the 17 and a half. Which I thought. Let's see. It looks like it right there. It's a little bit bigger area though. Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's see if it fits on there. Don't look like it does though. I was just trying this before I go and sit there and order a new o-ring when I got o-rings right here I mean this looks like it the 17 and a half in which I thought these were it well, let's see No, that's too big. I won't fit in there. I wonder. No, too s small. I thought I had one for this. I might not have one. That's too small. It seems like the ones I got are not the right size. I have some there. That's too big. Well, it might be we got to order some. I might have to order an O ring for this before I can do anything. It don't look like I have one. So. I'm going to stop it right here. And it looks like I might have to order an O-ring. For this. Because I do not have one. Not one that's going to fit it anyway. I got plenty of them. It's just not the right one. And it's unfortunate that one busted. And I can't reuse it. Because it's not going to. It's going to leak. So. Looks like I'm going to have to order a new uh, O-ring. So I'm going to have to stop it right here. And pick it back up when we get the new O-ring. So I'm going to stop it right here. So it looks like this is going to be part three coming up here shortly. Here, so go ahead and uh, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, people. So, I'll catch you guys on the next one here. Stay tuned for part three. Bye.